Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the gateway to the west. More specifically, we are in St. Louis, Missouri. More specifically than that, we are here in front of the City Museum. Now, the Trans World festivities are in full swing here in St. Louis, Missouri. We're going to be spending the next couple days here enjoying the uh, wave of haunters coming into the cities. And uh, tonight, we're attending one of the uh, special Trans World events. They're having a party here at the City Museum. Now, I've mentioned this mentioned this before. The City Museum, possibly the worst name for an attraction. It is an amazing attraction with a unfortunate name. The City Museum connotates maybe a boring environment, maybe a bland environment, but the City Museum here is anything but. It's less of a museum and more of like a winding work of art. The entire building is its in itself a almost a piece of full cart intertwined. There's tunnels, ladders, things to climb that take you through the building. It's a maze of concrete and steel. And uh, tonight it's going to be full of haunters, scare actors, people in the haunted house industry enjoying themselves in this magnificent wonderland. So please follow me. Unfortunately, it is a little bit rainy tonight, so I don't know if we will be able to access the outdoor portions of the city museum. I've only been up on the roof one time. I had the, the uh, luxury of going up there. I don't know if the roof is going to be open tonight. You can see the school bus dangling there over the edge. There's also some things out here, some things to climb on. There's an airplane that you can climb on out here. I don't know if that's gonna be open tonight. We may have to stick to the interior, but who knows? Who knows what uh, what this night will bring. Now there's an interesting Easter egg someone showed me last time I was here. Now Bob Cassily, the man that created this city museum, was an eccentric man, an eccentric creative man, who lived an amazing life and died a mysterious death. And uh, while he was alive, he worked here at the city museum, and you can see those nodules there are actually like rock climbing rocks that you would put on like a rock climbing wall. So he put these up the side of the building so that he could free climb from the bottom here all the way to the top of the building with no harness. Look at that, going all the way up there. So yeah, here's the outside area. I don't see uh, anyone climbing around out there. I don't know if it's closed tonight or if people are just not gravitating out there because of the rain. Maybe the rain will, maybe the rain will uh, dry up here in a little bit. All right, we are headed in. So at the city museum, it's hard to even figure out where to start. We've got the stairs here, shaped like a dinosaur. You can see up there, these spirals. You can actually crawl through those if you are inclined. And what the heck, I'm just, I'm just gonna start here. I'm just gonna walk into the mouth of this giant fish here. I don't even know, I don't even know. There's no light in here even. I'm just assuming this comes out somewhere. Okay, where am I? Ow! I think there's other people in here. Oh, hello. How's it going? Where does this tube go? Yeah, well, there's people coming down. Okay, so this is a downward tube, I'm yes. guessing? Not an upward tube. <laughs> Indeed. I can't slide. <laughs> At all. Here's a little nook right here. So I can crawl in here. Okay, I'm basically, I'm basically in a cupboard. Just crawl along here until I can stand up. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I can do much with this. Okay, I may be low-key trapped. Let's uh, see if we can, oh yeah, I think we can escape through this hatch. Man, I wish I had knee pads. All right, just got in and I'm already, I'm already stuck in a nook and or cranny. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ow. All right. 
like successfully made it to the second floor, I think. Okay, so I entered through this crowded lobby. I went into that fish mouth where those people are currently going. The fish mouth took me in a little tunnel here around the back here. And I came out through that little, just little hole right there. See, you just never know where you're gonna pop out here. Oh, look at this. Down this windy staircase, there's a beautiful koi pond. These are people having drinks here next to the koi. Those are beautiful koi, look how white they are. You can see here on the wall, these are old like things from a printing press. You know, back when you had to do all this by hand before computer typing was invented. Now here's the creator, Robert Cassily. Uh, he kind of conceived this entire place and he was creating a second location called Cement Land when he was actually murdered, murdered by an unknown assailant and it was staged to look like an industrial accident. Let's take a little peek here in the gift shop to see what sort of gifts they have here at the city museum. Some t-shirts back here. I do like that, the astronaut and the, uh, and the school bus. And this has the, uh, the uh, puking pig. It says, home of the puking pig. Remind me, see if we can find the puking pig before the end of the night. There might be a puking haunter. I also sell these school buses, say city museum, as there is a school bus dangling off the top of the building. And they do sell knee pads to help you get around the museum. Of course, you're crawling on your hands and knees and uh, the ground is concrete or metal. So I don't know, I don't know what size, I don't know what size knee pad I wear. So one interesting thing about the city museum is there's no maps. There are no maps that exist of the city museum. So you kind of just have to find your way, see people crawling up there through this tree-like structure here. It's a, it's, it's a workout getting, uh, getting, getting up. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, see, people. Uh, you can do it, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, you can see people crawling up, people in the different human cages up there. Oh, look at this. There's a person, person uh, crawling up. Okay, there was a person crawling up through the floor. I think they just descended into that nook. Yeah, I love this uh, big whale here. See people headed into the mouth of a whale. And you know, when you head, in, you head up in the mouth of a whale, you never know. You never know where or what you're going to be ejected from. History. So I saw a man just go down go in this hole here. Are you alive? He's there gone. was a person in there. That dude that went down is only 5'1", so anyone going down, <laughs> just keep that in mind. Oh my gosh. He's a He's small fine. child. It gives me nightmares to look in there. Andy, I'm coming. Oh wait, another person's going in there. Those aren't nerd for oh the my God. I thought, wait, is that the right way to go? Where do they come out at? I gotta see where they come out at. We don't know, it could wait, be now. Over there. Over there, oh, okay. This is the first man that went in. So let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Under the whale. Not the whale hole. Where are you? Are you all right? No. But yes. <laughs> whale hole. Whale? Actually, look into the whale's eye here. What's happening in the whale's eye? Oh, there's people. People in the whale's eye. It's there. Yeah, there's a pter pterodactyl hanging right there. So pterodactyl. Oh yeah, that's the tail of the whale, and uh, it's a giant devil ray over here. Kind of a wood formation. We've got a mammoth, a mammoth of some sort. And yeah, amongst these concrete fish, we have some actual, actual fish in here. Yeah, strong aquatic theme so far. Look at that paddlefish. 
look at look at this the seashell here look how small this pathway is let's just theoretically see if I would fit in there I, I have lost a few pounds Look at that, there's people, people crawling through the ceiling there. Oh look, there's someone in that little tunnel. Hey there. <laughs> Is that a slide? Not really. Not really? I think maybe we can get up to the second floor using these stairs here. This is a little less of a tight squeeze. Okay. Where's this go? I don't think I've been up here before. Okay, up here, you can actually peek down into the gift shop. And, yeah, look at that, uh, some sort of goblin head there. Again, I, I wish I was a little bit, if I was, if I was tinier, I would have a good time scurrying around in these tunnels like a hamster. But, uh, yeah, we do have a slide here. I think this is safe. All right. All right, follow this path of fish here. And I guess we'll head into the into the whale. Yeah, there's tunnels within the whale. Okay. So now we're above the uh Above the fish there. See the waterfall made out of lizards there. Oh, this is the this is the puking pit here. Looks like that's actually out of order. Doesn't look like it's currently puking. The uh, trough the pig pukes in is dry. It's a crack in the floor. Oh look, there's people down there. Oh you trapped! Oh my how do we get down there, Amber? Oh, it's sort of, it's, this is like a crevice! I wonder how they make sure all the people are out of the crevices at night. Seriously, like a unique adventure anytime you're here, because you, you never go through in the same way. You always just kind of try to figure it out as you go. A little chameleon in here. I guess you can... There is a creepy passageway under, uh, under the chameleon there. Oh, look at that, there's a person like, <laughs> like pulling themselves by their arms through that tunnel there. <laughs> so basically I have to resort to finding like the path of least resistance. I'm unable to like skitter around up here. Hello! Yes, <laughs> better. Alright, where are we? Okay. The restaurant area here. All right, we're taking a traditional route and just heading up this big flight of steps into uh, onto the next floor here. All right, this is the art aquarium in here. I think they've been doing yeah. some work on this for the past few years. Okay, I think some of this is new. Look at that. We got the the smoldering fountain there under the fish tank. Oh my goodness, I think we have a, a tank here full of flesh-eating, flesh-eating fish. Not like piranhas, but the, the little ones, the little ones that eat your, eat your flesh. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at them eat my hand. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel that. Oh, I wonder how long, I wonder how long it would take them to completely turn my hand into a skeleton hand. I, I admit I'm getting very nervous. And I, I take my hand out at any point. I, there's, ah! Okay. Okay. 
Don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. Ah, I don't know how this feels. Ah, it's like little leeches. This hermit crab here. Oh, this hermit crab just spit out, spit out a backpack. That's weird. Oh, this guy's just being, this guy just got swallowed there by the uh, by the hermit crab. Okay, so I think I figured this out. You go in to the crab shell, you go through this tunnel here, and then you go down the shark slide. Right, I think we're gonna brave it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into the crab here. Wish me luck. Here. Oh, it's getting dark in this crab. Okay, okay, I stopped. I stopped there for a second. You know, like when the Grinch is going through the chimney and he just gets stopped for just a second? That's what just happened to me. Okay, so we're in the crab. We, we went up to the crab. Now we gotta pass through this tunnel. Man, I should have bought those. I should have bought those uh, knee pads. I'm really gonna regret not buying these knee pads. All right, there we go. Through the tunnel here. But at the end of the tunnel, we'll be rewarded with the shark slide. Oh, where's the shark slide? There's different ways to go, but I think it's really blue in here, also. Very blue. <laughs> Alright, I think we're headed down the shark slide. Unlike how I feel. Do not feel blue? No, I do not feel blue. <laughs> Alright. I think I cannot slide down the slide because of the immense amount of sweat. <laughs> my sweat. Oh, somebody just kicked my head. I'm so sorry. Oh, my head has been kicked by a person. I didn't know. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's no problem. Oh. Oh. To walk off the slide there. The squid there. There's gonna be someone emerging from the top of the squid. Oh, this looks to be some sort of lizard area. Oh yeah, you can see there's lizards. Lizards, the little enclosures there. Oh look at that, the skeleton, the super spooky dead skeleton there as well. And over here we have the world's most ominous octopus. And I guess we can uh, head down here into the bowels of the octopus. Where do these octopus tunnels take us? So you can kind of get a feeling of how massive this building is. Looking down here and then looking up at this. And you can see over here people climbing the stairs there. And you actually climb all the way to the top and that is a slide that you can twirl all the way down. I think someone said it's a maybe I think 10 stories the slide takes you down in a spiral. So uh, yeah let's head up there. Let's head up there and do the do the big slide. Okay so here is the slide here. We can actually watch people as they slide down. Oh, there they go. All right, so headed up to the top here to get on the slide. Okay, so this is the five-story slide, but we don't want the five-story slide. We want something bigger. Okay, so apparently the ten-story slide is actually shut down because it's rainy, so we're gonna have to settle for five stories. I know. My parents lost me when I was eight. All right, getting ready to head uh, down the slide here. All right, here we go. Oh my god! See if you can count all five stories. Okay, we keep going. I always get afraid I'm gonna get stopped. There we go. Oh, oh, we done? Oh my god. 
I don't even know where I am. All right, I'm still sitting here. The capsule, the bottom of the slide, contemplating my life decisions, trying to figure out how exactly you get out of here. It's like in this little metal pod. All right, so I think, I think we gotta go through there. That's where people are sliding down from, so I guess. Oh my gosh! I just, this is, I didn't know when I got on the slide and I'd have to be skittering around on the floor. Oh my God. Can I stand can I stand up? There we go. What are you doing? I think we're re-emerging from the octopus's layer. Alright, my knees hurt. We go somewhere where that doesn't involve as much crawling around on your knees. Head back here through the vault. Oh, what's this tunnel? Here, I don't remember this. A tunnel of mirrors here. All right, I think we gotta head up these stairs. I'm trying to find the rest of the museum, and it's uh, confusing enough, uh, you know, the way it's set up, but uh, seems like they've rearranged a few things. Okay. See this uh, like bug city here, the giant centipede wrapped around it. Now it looks like you can crawl underneath it somewhere. I don't know exactly how. And it looks like there may be a little train that goes around it. I don't know that I've ever rode the train. Yeah, it looks like they're doing some work here on the train. Okay, so this is new. This is the Guinness World Records exhibit here. Oh yeah, this is completely, completely new in here. We have some items from Guinness in here. This is a Rubik's Cube. It is autographed by the uh, person that holds the record for the fastest Rubik's Cube solving by uh, Max Park, who solved it in 21 seconds. And there we see the world's smallest chess set through the magnifying glass there. This woman here holds the record for walking across a slack line. So she walked across a 10 meter slack line in uh, two minutes, 30 seconds. And there is her shoes and there is the slack line. Look at this here. This is the largest bubble bottle with wand. So someone uh, dipped that in there and then blew bubbles with this giant wand here. In this cabinet, we have the world's largest sneakers as well as the world's longest lasting fidget spinner because it spins longer than any other fidget spinner and then the world's smallest fidget spinner. Over here we have these statues. This is by an artist named Todd Otterness and uh, he is a, uh, he's a sculptor. He makes pretty cool sculptures but uh, turns out not a great guy. He murdered a dog once. Oh, this is new here as well. We have a section that actually talks about the history of the City Museum. It's originally built in, uh, opened in 1997, so they're kind of chronicling the history of this facility. Yeah, look in here, we have, I guess this is the model for that uh, giant whale downstairs. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, you can see all these models here of what would later uh, become the city museum. Yeah, this display is all new. These were not on display before. You can see the big lizard right there. Yeah, it says uh, that these bowling balls were collected to make a climbing wall out of bowling balls. It said that uh, it was not realized until, uh, until Bob Castley had, uh, he passed away, the bowling balls left here, and the idea never came together. More models here. There's the uh, the octopus. Octopus we went down earlier. See the dinosaur slide. Here, this is the part that looks the most like a traditional museum, the insectorium. You can see on the walls here, this massive collection of moths. 
sort of mountain lion there. There's a little fox there. Chaos reigns. A big box of fish. A little otter. That's interesting, the turkey there, how it's kind of splatted against the wall. Yeah, look at all these. The penguin there. Oh, this bird's nest here, it says. It's a pigeon nest found on the roof of the city museum. See, it's like made out of like bits of like scrap wood, wood shavings. See, uh, Bob's big boy holding his burger aloft there. His warm, watchful gaze over all the haunters. See the old shooting gallery there. Those little targets that you'd shoot like at a carnival. And this way, we head over into the Museum of Mirth, Mystery, and Mayhem. Now it looks like they're in the process of doing some renovations in here. It says that they are uh, Installing some artwork. It looks like some new arts going up here on the wall and in these cases. It's the Shrine of Shameless Hucksterism, is the uh, an actual bar over there. And it looks like, I think th this is new. They, uh, I think they had a, the world's largest underwear here before. But it was, uh, I think this is a new pair. I think the other pair was maybe getting a little dingy. We love this big, crazy robot head here. This is Madame May's trailer here. This is the Ouija board on the television set. I don't know if you can, this is a flamingo peeking out there. I don't know if we're supposed to be peeking in here. Okay, it looks like they're just keeping supplies back in the uh, in the trailer. You see some of the art here on the wall. Look at this TV down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. You can see me. Very interesting coloration there on the TV set. Of course, we can't go anywhere without running in to Zoltar. So let's go give him some money. Looks like, looks like he takes credit cards. music coming from this direction here. Uh-oh, we stumbled upon some sort of dance party here. I guess I was wrong. There is a map of the city museum. I don't know, this is almost like blasphemy here. That shows you, uh, shows you around. Of course, this is on the uh, third floor. So you had to have found your way up here first. But uh, yeah, there's an actual map of the city museum. Here's to be some sort of dinosaur slide. Let's see if we can make our way up there. Looks like the ball pit has been restricted for some reason. Okay, we had to reroute. Looking down here for the uh, for the dragon slide or the dinosaur slide rather. Okay, I'm crawling on my knees again. I was hoping I wouldn't have to get on my knees anymore.
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get claustrophobic. Let me get here. Oh my gosh. Did I see? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Come on, backwards. Ugh. Okay, someone's pulling my leg. Got me? <laughs> yeah, I got into the neck of the dinosaur. And then I just really wasn't sliding. I just had to like scuttle the entire way down. of a pigeon in uh, their brain they have flies in their neck they have pennies in their throat they have an eastern yellow mouse interesting oh yeah look at that some unbridled joy right there in their uh, in their rear end Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip trying to run the uh, the turnpikes. These are uh, turnpikes that you do on foot here. Uh, yeah, one year I almost flew out a window, so I think I'll try to stay on my feet uh, this year. Over here on the wall, there is this pencil collection, all these different pencils from different places. And then over here, we have this massive pencil. See people sitting over there on the front of the giant pencil. Yeah, this is one massive pencil here. Let's go uh, visit the eraser. Yeah, this is huge. Look at that. It's a real eraser. Oh, and there's the Guinness certification there. This is the, I guess, the 76 feet. This is the world's largest pencil. Wow. I mean, it is a big pencil. No doubt about that. This Egyptian entranceway here says, do not touch the upcycled garden artwork. So I guess in this Egyptian area, we have some upcycled garden artwork. Okay, over here we have almost like a uh, a proper art gallery. Here was kind of some upscale artwork. Oh, I think this over here. I think this is one of those one of those chairs that you sit in and it like spins you spins you in a circle. Now I don't know all that much about art, but uh, I know that I love this giant sausage man here. That's, that's amazing. Oh wow, these over here are super cool. You look at that, it's like trapped in this clear resin. But look at this, if you look closely, got the hand, it's like little, little pictures, almost like little cutouts. It's little faces there. And just so, yeah, so many layers to the art here. That is pretty impressive. Wow, yeah, it's like almost like 3D collage there. That is gorgeous. And uh, yeah, look at this, almost like a person like exploding there, like being exploded down the middle. Wow, yeah, and just look at the layers. All the things happening. I think that's a gummy bear wearing a space helmet. And I think our night here at the City Museum may be winding down. But I do think we need some City Museum pressed pennies to take home. Looks like there is six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Well, that one, this is the St. Louis Arch. We got some various other uh, 
of the uh, sculptures in here. The praying mantis is on the roof. We didn't get a chance to see that, but it's $5 for all eight, so I think, you know, that's a bargain. All right, let's grind up some pennies. Oh, there we go. Coming one at a time here. Well, these are some shiny ones. All right. And look at that. That is a fine set of shiny pressed pennies there. All right. The rain did not let up. It's still uh, coming down out here. And uh, I am battered. I am bruised from going down metal slides, crawling around on concrete. I tore my brand new pair of Crocs. I banged up my brand new camera, but still fun uh, was had by all. It is really right. Let me see if I can get under some shelter, at least here for a, uh, for a moment. All right, getting a rain, rain, rain on a little bit, a little bit less here, but uh, the city museum, always, always a different experience. You, 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 you enter, through a tunnel, through a mouth, through a fish, through a whale, through something. And you never know where you're gonna come out, where you're going to end up. And a lot of new stuff this year. So um, not only did they, they remodel a lot of stuff, but it's already like almost impossible to find your way around anyway. So yes, a, uh, it's almost a yearly tradition here to go out to the city museum uh, during during the trans world, uh, during the trans world event. And uh, always, always have a good time. A little bombed at range because you know, you'd have access to uh, more things, access to the roof, access to the outside climbing area. But man, I do, remind me, I definitely need to, to, to bring some knee pads next time. I think I, I think I ruined my croc. I think I tore my croc going down the uh, five story slide. I banged up my camera. I think it's okay. I, it's, it's a little, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, view, the viewer, the screen is a little, little knock to the side but I think I think all in all I'm in one piece I'm good I'm healthy and uh, I'm excited uh, excited to get back to trans world and see the rest of the trade show so I hope you guys will join me for that uh, I think I'm gonna head over there uh, tomorrow and uh, hope you guys enjoy you know these journeys I'm on some more fun stuff coming up uh, hope you guys enjoy some of the spooky stuff that we've been uh, doing here in the St. Louis area. Uh, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. If uh, you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon, $3 or more, which a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. Of course, uh, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat, in the water and the dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.